Good morning. Uh, how are you today? This is Mr. Muhammad Ammar and I'm eager to explain the narrative essay writing. That's why we need to maximize our own uh, um, efforts and to expand our knowledge of writing style. In the narrative essay writing, I will uh, start differently this way. Um, I'm going to show you a video and this video really is crucial because it's uh, very, very, very um, informative and it's about a person who you do love and you know all and who suffered a lot and but he really did a great job for humanity and this is Steve Jobs. Listen, listen first to Steve Jobs' story and then go back to the topic we are discussing right now, okay? Get ready? There was only one school I wanted to attend, Reed College in Oregon. It was a big financial burden on my parents, but I really wanted to go, so I went. But then, a problem arose. After six months, I couldn't see the value in it. I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life, and no idea how college was going to help me figure it out. And here I was, spending all of the money my parents saved their entire life. So I decided to drop out. It was pretty scary at that time. I was unsure what lied ahead of me. Okay, uh, this is a narrative essay introduction, and we right now need to start to go to the uh, topic we, we've just uh, prepared. Um, really, the, for the narrative essay writing, um, you all know that rewriting or reviewing narrative writing is of paramount importance. So, with your partner, write down three important pieces of information that remember about narrative writing. So, you can do this at home, like you can share in one of your family member writing some notes, uh, some piece of, inform of information about something you remember um, writing about. For the narrative essay, um, it has a similar feature as a narrative paragraph. Uh, first of all, we, sh we need to have a, an introduction, body and conclusion. It's written in the first pe person and the main idea, you have to make it crystal clear and to start to write the setting, the place and the time. And to have a reflection on the events of uh, the essay and to um, just use a descriptive language in which you can describe what happened uh, uh, in detail. And you also need to use e transitions or transitional words like however, on the one hand, on the other hand, etc. And you need to define, is it about a single event or more, and also to show a chronological order or uh, the order of events, okay? For the narrative essay, it expands on what we already know, but we uh, now we have an opportunity to develop our own ideas more. Uh, accordingly, the structure of a narrative essay should be like that, an introductory paragraph, a party paragraph between three to four sentences, and a concluding paragraph. Now we will look at each part more closely. For the introductory paragraph, an introductory paragraph has three jobs. The first one is to hook the reader, like to uh, attract his attention um, um, genuinely, and to provide a setting, introduce the character. Setting means the place and the time. And then you introduce the character, tell us what are these characters that we do have. We, uh, you have to provide the answer for some question like, what is the basic idea of the story? Where is the story taking place? When is the story taking place? Who is the uh, in the story? So you um, speak about the characters, also the place and time of the story. Very important to give a purpose to the essay. We, you can never write in vacuum. You, can, you need to uh, be very uh, um, specific about you, what you write and why you write it and give a reason and the purpose for that. For the introductory paragraph, another way to look at an introductory paragraph. This is um, the format of it. So we have a hook. This like give a general idea. Then you start to write about who, what, when, and where. Um, to summarize, you speak about the persons, the characters, and also the uh, setting. And this um, is followed by the thesis or the perhaps of your essay. So you, you give me a hook, the main idea. Uh, you're writing about something attractive to the reader, then personality, characters of the story, and uh, plus the setting, and also the parents of the story. What is uh, your hook? The hook is the first sentence of the introductory paragraph, and it's of, of, param it's of, of paramount importance. It's the golden sentence. 
The purpose of, of a hook is to pull the reader and to grab reader curiosity, curiosity to make him like eager to read more and more. Because if it's boring, it will anybody will no one will really be eager to uh, dive deeply or to uh, go on reading thoroughly. That's why you need to make it make him as a reader curious, make him like loving to read more and explore, and there are like a, a, something of a surprise. Your hook should transition smoothly uh, into the rest of your introductory paragraph. So you have to use uh, ideas which are so connected, which are logical, which are connected uh, smoothly, and you use a transitional uh, words and connectors. What is a thesis? Your thesis does the same job as a topic sentence in a narrative paragraph. So the th thesis here means a topic sentence. Okay, that's uh, uh, mean. It has a main idea and a claim. A claim means like an issue you defend, an issue you uh, you tell to the reader to discuss and to think deeply about it. Um, it's the perhaps of your essay. So the thesis is the perhaps of your essay. Why write it? Because of this and that and that. If you don't have a thesis, actually you don't have a perhaps, and your essay will be very confusing for the reader. That's why you need to be very curious, uh, very careful in writing your thesis and to show the uh, thesis in a critically manner, okay? Um, your entire essay will develop to support your thesis. So your thesis is only one sentence, okay? And your thesis is the last sentence of your introductory paragraph, okay? The body paragraphs, the, your, the body paragraphs look similar to the body of a narrative paragraph. They develop the story, so they have a rising action, uh, which means the leading up the event, and then the climax of the event the height, the high level, and then the falling action. This means what happened afterwards. So this is the chronological order of the story. Rising action, climax, falling, uh, climax and falling action. You need to follow this. Thinking about transitions. Transitions will help uh, signal the end of one paragraph and the beginning of the next. So you want to move from a part to another. Um, like traveling between countries. If you want to move from Saudi Arabia to Egypt, um, um, etc. So you have to use a plane. So a plane is con considered a connector or transition or transitional way. Accordingly, uh, transitional words provide a link between the ideas and paragraphs. They will give your essay a feeling of unity and allow the reader to follow the story easily. That's why, if you remember, I was really hammering on the idea of using um, the transitional words because they do have a great effect on moving the um, uh, ideas smoothly and in a super perfect way. Common time transition before, after, during, first, second, then, then finally, while, later, at last, last, eventually, meanwhile, since, now, and soon. There are a variety of more and more and more, like uh, on the one hand, on the other hand, although, however, etc. Okay? So remember to use a comma after a transition if uh, it is necessary, and this depends on the kind of the transition. But most of the uh, transitional words you have to use e, trans uh, e comma because this is obligatory, okay, not optional. Okay. A concluding paragraph. The concluding paragraph has the same function in a narrative essay as in a narrative paragraph. It must uh, synth uh, synthesize your main idea, summarize your main idea, and def like define it in a different way, in different words. And claim as well, provide your reflection. It can make a prediction or revelation about future actions, so it can extend your own topic. Now, and, and can extend uh, it by telling what will happen in the future. Uh, as a result of the story, also can challenge the reader thoughts and beliefs about the main idea. Uh, it also can tell what the writer has learned from her or his own experiences. For the concluding paragraph, another way to look at the concluding paragraph, we have in synthesizing the main idea and claim, reflecting on your own event and finishing the sentence or this called clincher sentence to finish it or to end it. Some final notes, choose detail to move uh, your essay forward, bring your experience to life for the reader by appealing to her five senses. So use words which attract the five senses of the reader. Also choose details that are so specific enough to show clearly what happened. Um, you also need to control your tenses and transitions. You need to vary according to the requirements, according to the need of the um, essay. 
Remember that narrative essay shares an event from the past, so you should write in the past tense. So, uh, but if you uh, regarding the conclusion, if you want to extend more, so you can use it in the future tense. That's um, uh, the main topic we have right now. It's the narrative essay writing. You need to write about, write about something in the past, explain about, uh, like to extend about what will may happen as a result. Use transitional words, vary your own um, tenses and, and, and verbs. Don't repeat any kind of uh, sentence structure. Use a variety of sentence structure between simple, complex, compound, com complex, compound sentences. Also use as many connectors as you can. Don't repeat the connector. Use different ones. Uh, highlight the key ideas like um, uh, have a purpose for all your own writing okay and this is like a uh, one example or like a more uh, explanation for this kind of we say like um, narrative essay look at right. this a narrative story when we write narrative stories we start by first figuring out what the prompt is asking what's your topic Second, about you plan out what you are going to write. How are you going to write this? Third, you write your story. Be that this prompt is at main characters. So you have a beginning, introduction, and late in the beginning, introduction. I'm going to jump. Uh, body and conclusion. So you need to have a plan for this. Don't write randomly. So my characters are going to be me. Okay, uh, like so we have now, for the uh, beginning or introduction we have like an action and dialogue and sudden sound. So you need to under fully understand the, the, all these kind of words before you start to write because you are going to write a story in a certain manner. Okay, this is an example for the beginning. I will allow you to like to um, uh, Google this one and to get as much information about it for the introduction, for the middle or the body. You have uh, transitional words. You have giving more details, giving more reads giving some like varying your uh, ideas and the um, have the uh, crystal clear prompts okay and also uh, for the conclusion it will be the same like introduction but really in like for the story um, in other different kinds of uh, essay the introduction is like the uh, conclusion but in different words as we said but here it will be differently because you need to develop your ideas and to get a, uh, the um, conclusion or the uh, results of what will happen and after this end or conclusion can extend for the future uh, considerations okay um, this is our topic for the kind of essay I will write ask you right now to write an essay but it uh, need to be a tree actually needs to be a narrative essay send it to me and I will uh, mark it and send you feedback yeah, that's all for the narrative essay. Go to the go YouTube and Google and get um, as much information as you can about this kind of uh, topic, which is narrative. You can also uh, like um, uh, Google this uh, um, uh, kind of um, um, essay writing and get uh, new information about it. Explore new ideas. Uh, see, uh, listen to new new stories. Uh, Steve Jobs or any other pioneer, and start to reflect on them, or you start to create a, 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 any story from your own mind. Mind, uh, an experience, personal experience, or anything you heard about. Uh, that's all for our lesson today. Uh, thank you so much and have a nice morning. And I will be waiting for your own um, feedback about the uh, task we, uh, we I have just assigned for you. So write an essay about the uh, narrative uh, essay and then send it to me and I will give you a feedback about it. Thank you so much. Have a nice morning. Thank you.